Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're here at 119 Glenwood Road in Hendersonville, North Carolina. Very nice area, probably eight minutes from downtown Hendersonville. I'd say a half an hour from downtown Asheville and about 15 minutes from the airport. Nice little quiet bedroom community, primary residential community. There are a number of homes in here that are in the process of being fixed up and revitalized. So that's great to see. And this house is one of those. There's a number of additions or uh, improvements that have been made to this house. And I'll talk about them as we go inside. It actually looks like it's going to start raining. So why don't we go ahead and head inside. It looks like we're getting ready for an afternoon shower. This home was built around 1950, 1960. The homeowners were the very first homeowners to ever move into this house, and they moved out just, uh, just a few years ago. It's a three bedroom, two bath home. It's about 1,300 square feet total on the upper level, according to the outside measurements, same down below. Uh, the actual interior heated square footage on the main floor is around 1,100 square feet, and then downstairs is around 450 square feet of finished and heated square space, uh, square feet, but the roof is low enough that we don't count that as interior um, um, heated square feet. But beautiful, fun area for the kids to be able to play. We're going to take a walk around. This is the living room area here. Um, the carpet is fairly new. Uh, the floors were refinished in 2005. Um, many of the light fixtures were gone through as well. It is the original windows in the house. You'll find there's been a lot of additions made to this house, um, or improvements, I should say, to the house. For example, the air conditioning system was replaced in July of 2010. Uh, the roof, the entire roof, as well as uh, some of the um, uh, eave vents were replaced in May of 2009. So a lot of items, big ticket items that you don't want to get into when you're first buying a home or at your first starter home, those have been taken care of. So you don't have to worry in 10 years about that roof. I think it's also an architectural shingle, so it's, uh, it's a little bit better than just the normal shingle. And we're going to go ahead and take a walk into the kitchen, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that. This kitchen has been a great addition. Uh, many homes of this age and at this price range haven't had a kitchen updated. This one absolutely has. The cabinets are new. In 05-06, this home was completely renovated. The couple that owns it um, was, were going to continue to stay in it. Um, what they discovered is they ended up only staying in it for about two weeks per month during that time. Then ended up buying a second home and the house is sat, other than being used for six months by one of their granddaughters. So the home was, was renovated in 05, 06, new AC, 2010, new roof, 2009. Uh, even the septic was pumped out in uh, 07. Um, it just hasn't been used very much since then. Um, you'll see here the floor. There used to be a wall here between the dining room and the kitchen. They went ahead and opened that up and the floor has been replaced. Now there is a little bit of a low spot on the floor over here. Down underneath, completely wide open, that can be supported um, and, and leveled up. A home from the 50s and 60s is gonna need a little bit of leveling. Um, that's something very easily done, not a crawl space, full basement, so it makes it real easy to do. Um, we'll go ahead and walk, I'm technically in the kitchen right now. We're gonna walk into the dining room so that I can show you what they've done there. Okay, this is the dining room area. You can't see it. The wall used to be here. This was brought out and extended completely through. Now the kitchen cabinets were also included through here. What was important to them was having more kitchen space, less necessity for uh, the dining room area. Something that could easily be done is perhaps an island or a bar brought out here to update the dining room so it's not just for Thanksgiving, holidays, and that portable or uh, not portable, but that office desk area. Um, but a nice little bar or island here would really open this whole thing up. But you've got cabinets, plenty of cabinet space for my countertops um, throughout the entire location. We'll go ahead and take a walk into one of the first bedrooms. Okay, we just came down the hallway off from the living room. This is the first bedroom on the right hand side. We're an 11 by 12 in its size. Uh, very nice, good windows. It's a good size closet. Back in here, I would say probably six feet by two feet in size. Again, hardwood floors were completely refinished. 
and the baseboards look like a nice heart pine baseboard as well. We'll go into bedroom number two. Okay, we're in the second bedroom. Uh, another closet off the camera here to the side. Another closet about the same size, probably two by six in size. Hardwood floors, windows on either side here. Uh, very good size, probably roughly that same 11 by 12. I think this one's just a little bit larger in size, but uh, very nice. We'll go into the master bedroom. Okay, this is our master bedroom here. It's a very nice room. Pretty good size. I would say the bed that's in here right now is either a queen, possibly a full. Looks like a queen to me with a large headboard. You've got two sets of windows on either side here, um, so there's plenty of light. You look over the backyard, which is nice. It's a huge backyard. We've got a walk-in closet here off to my right, probably 20 square feet in size with shelves on, on two sides of that. And we've got a half bathroom here. Earlier when I spoke about a three bedroom, two bath, I should have clarified it's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. Full bathroom out in the main hall, and then we have a half bathroom here as well. If someone wanted to, you could potentially take some of that closet space and put in a full bathroom there. It is, uh, it's city water, and then there is a sewer system out back, but the sewer system is for a three bedroom house. Doesn't matter how many bathrooms you have. So you could, if you wanted to, take this wall out to here to be able to enlarge the closet maybe put in a shower in there and enlarge the bathroom at the same time. So the home structurally is designed that you could update it if you want to. Before it hasn't started raining yet, before it does I'm going to go out onto the back deck and then we're going to take a walk around the property. I'll probably get behind the camera when we're walking around the property. Thanks. Before I do go outside I just remembered I should show you guys the bathrooms. So this is the half bath off the master. The tile, I think, is actually coming back in style. But you've got the commode and lavatory right there, linoleum floors. We'll take a look at the main bathroom with the full shower. Okay, this is the main bathroom, the full shower. When it comes in, you've got a window off to the back, and then your commode is around the side. One of the things I didn't mention, and I should have, is we do have a nice pantry right here as well, right off the kitchen. This is the door out to the deck. We'll go on the deck. Very nice back deck. Very large in size. We'll pan around. I'll probably go ahead and start narrating behind the camera so that you can see the different aspects here. But the property line is quite large in size. It goes back all the way to the corner all the way to the corner here. Neighbor with an in-ground pool next door. Uh, the pool is currently not working. Uh, they're working on getting the pumps fixed on that. Uh, but when it does, you'll become their best friend so that you can get into the pool. Um, I'll go ahead and get behind the camera and I'll show you more of the property outside. Okay, and behind the camera here, you can see the carport down below. Very good size, double carport, probably 12 feet in height, I would say. Well enough for a pontoon boat. So we pan around. You may be able to see a trampoline, that's the bottom corner of the property there. Brush pile is on the property. Very large backyard here. And then the neighbor's uh, in-ground pool. There's also a garden over there in the distance that a neighbor is out currently in. You can see the deck here. Very good sized decks. Could use a little bit of paint, not a big deal. That's it, we'll go ahead and go around to the side of the house. Okay, we're down on the, uh, just off from the driveway here. I wanted to point out the air conditioner again, which is uh, uh, practically brand new. As you come down the stairs, this is the area that was repaired here. You can see the drain, the white drain here on the ground. Um, the downspout uh, was, was backing up and overflowing in that area and causing the ground to soften a little bit which is where they think the cracks came from in the foundation. Again, not huge cracks. We'll take a look at those on the inside. Um, but that was uh, the downspouts gutters were replaced, um, larger gutters, and then uh, they were brought out to be able to easily, uh, just you know, by gravity, drain away from the house. And that was uh, completely taken care of. We'll go around the side of the house. Um, you can see there was a newer retaining wall that was installed here to the left. And then the roof was fixed and that um, 
attic vent was replaced. There was a little bit of water coming in there um, that was replaced and the ceiling in the master bedroom had a, a little bit of moisture there and that moisture was taken care of as well. We'll go ahead and go around to the front of the house. You see the carport off to the right. Pan around. Very good access for driving. You can park here above uh, up on the main road here, probably a couple of cars. And certainly plenty of space down in the driveway as well for probably five or six cars. Alright, before I forget, we're going to go ahead and go inside and take a look at the garage and the lower level downstairs. Okay, we're into the fun part of the house now. Down here in the basement, ceiling height is a little short, can't be counted as interior heated square feet. But it's great usable space. You can see here the air conditioning vent right there. Another limitation, though I'm not six feet, but uh, there's plenty of space here. Looks like there was a pool table off to the side. Main water shutoff comes in right here. Very easy to get to. Um, you can access the garage by that door there. Laundry room area of the garage by that door there. Another thing that I wanted to show here is off to the camera left, you'll see a new panel. That panel was replaced as well, completely updated electrical uh, utility fuse panel here, so that's been fixed as well. It's a great amount of space. You can see too, there's a door that will lead out onto the back lawn in that area. From here, let's go ahead and go into the laundry room. Okay, this is the laundry room area in the garage. You can see new uh, air conditioning lines with uh, wrapped insulation around them in here. Makes it much more energy efficient. The laundry would go here, uh, dryer, washer. The hot water heater is fairly new. New PEX lines were run, so it's a mixture of PEX and copper lines throughout the house. There's some new electrical uh, systems that were put in place over here, an outlet and light switch for the light above me. The furnace here, um, the heat pump I should say, uh, return and handler is all new as well. Again, 2010 when that was uh, in replaced and installed. I think now we'll go ahead and walk into the garage. Okay, the garage portion of the house you can see there's a single garage door here, certainly enough space there, enough space here that you could fit another car, if you will, outside of these supports that are here in place. So a lot of room to work in here back behind the camera uh, is where the additional door at the bottom of the stairs comes into the garage here. Uh, there's some workbenches over to the left, um, looks like a picnic table here under the window, um, but you've got a lot of natural light in here with the additional windows that are in here. Um, it's great usable space. Let's go ahead and take a look at that uh, small little area where there was a crack in the foundation that was replaced. Okay, before I talk about the crack, I didn't mention also the garage door opener uh, is brand new as well. So this is that area. You can see sort of the stair step crack here. Um, something quite common in a number of basements and certainly homes that were built in the 50s or 60s. Um, gosh, homes that are built in the 2000s can have foundational cracks here or there. Small cracks repaired just as they should have been repaired, about $1,500 worth of repair to repair the outside area as well as the inside area, making this complete. Um, I think from here we'll go ahead and head back out the front door. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me here today at 119 Glenwood Road in Hendersonville, North Carolina. I hope you enjoyed the house. Yes, the vinyl siding could be updated as well. That's just a small little uh, piece of yellow vinyl siding. Could easily be replaced, and the trim is white, so if you just want to update that with white, uh, it tends to be snap lock. can be a, a fun weekend project for someone. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed yourself.